In the quiet hum of a rainforest, something bizarre is happening. A species of bee that breaks all the rules we thought we knew. It doesn't care much to sip nectar from flowers. It doesn't gather pollen. Instead, it feeds on decay. Sounds made up, doesn't it? Well, what if I told you that that very same bee doesn't just make honey from plant products alone, but from meat? Yes, meat. And what if I told you not all bees are created equal? Some, like the male honeybee, live short, fleeting lives. Deep down in the rainforests of Central and South America lives a creature that rewrites everything we thought we knew about bees, the vulture bee. These bees don't just visit flowers like their more polite cousins. Nope, vulture bees are scavengers, dirty little ones at that. When they find a rotting carcass, they don't turn away in disgust, they dive right in. Using their mandibles, they scrape off bits of decaying meat and carry it back to their hive. What's even stranger, these bees don't even eat the meat directly. Instead, they use it to create a honey-like substance, one which comes from combining sugary plant products and protein paste from regurgitated meat. Yes, you heard that right, meat honey. Now, this isn't some golden nectar you'd spread on toast, but to the vulture bees, it's a five-star meal. Scientists believe this adaptation allows them to thrive in environments where nectar and pollen might be hard to come by. But how do they do it? I mean, rotting meat is full of bacteria and toxins that would kill most animals. Well, the bees have a secret, a highly evolved gut microbiome that breaks down decay into something they can digest. But let's shift gears for a moment, over to honeybees, the male ones specifically, also known as drones. While vulture bees are out there rewriting the rules of survival, male honeybees, well, let's just say they're not exactly winning any awards for productivity. Their sole purpose in life? Mating with a queen. Yep, that's it. They don't collect any pollen, they don't produce any honey, they don't even help defend the hive. In fact, when winter comes around and resources get tight, worker bees, which just to remind you are all female, actually kick the males out of the hive. I mean, it makes sense. Why keep around a bunch of freeloaders when every drop of honey counts? But here's where things get really strange. Male honeybees live short, fleeting lives, destined for one dramatic moment. When they finally fulfill their purpose and mate, their bodies pay the ultimate price. In the act, their reproductive organs rupture, leading to an immediate and gruesome death. Nature itself, it seems, has no patience for inefficiency. Vulture bees, on the other hand, are survivalists. Compared to drones, they're like the overachievers of the insect world. Not only have they adapted to a meat-based diet, but they also play a critical role in recycling nutrients in their ecosystems. Without creatures like the vulture bee, the world would look like a very different place. Piles of decaying carcasses, teeming with disease, left to rot. Okay, maybe not that bad, but you get the idea. These flesh-eating bees might seem like something out of a nightmare, but their role is vital. They transform death into sustenance, quietly reshaping the delicate balance of their ecosystem, whilst cleaning our planet. So how did these two types of bees evolve into such wildly different roles? Well, that all comes down to survival strategy. Honeybees are often admired for their complex, synchronized colonies, Workers gather food, protect the hive, and ensure the queen's survival. But the males? Their lives are strikingly different, waiting silently for a single moment to fulfill their purpose, contributing little else to the colony's survival. Meanwhile, vulture bees had to get creative. Faced with scarcity, vulture bees turned to an unthinkable solution – protein. Where other species relied on flowers, they sought nourishment from death itself and feasted on the carcasses that littered the land. They thrived in the chaos, turning decay into opportunity, which ultimately reshaped their own survival. What's even more fascinating is that scientists are now delving into the secrets of vulture bees' gut bacteria, organisms uniquely adapted to break down flesh. Why? Because these bacteria might hold the key to breaking down waste or even processing certain types of food for humans. In the future, we may even use these lessons from vulture bees to create sustainable solutions for our own food systems. Meanwhile, the honeybee drones leave little to be studied as they continue their lazy existence, sipping on nectar and waiting for their moment of glory. In the structured world of honeybees, even perfection has its flaws. The male drones contribute little, their lives reduced to waiting for a fleeting chance, 
and we have little to nothing to learn from them in a stark contrast to their female roommates and all other bees living a purposeful life. The next time you hear someone say, busy as a bee, think of this, not all bees live up to that reputation. While some tirelessly work to sustain their colonies, others follow stranger, darker paths, ones we're only beginning to understand. From drones whose lives end in a single fleeting purpose, to vulture bees turning rot and decay into food, the world of bees is far more complex and unsettling than it seems. It makes you wonder what other strange hidden stories nature has yet to reveal to us.